Welcome back to Nuclear News, where we stay on top of exactly what is going on in the nuclear energy and uranium space so we can understand what to expect in the future. Obviously, historically, it's been working out. We have the Sprott Junior Uranium Miners up 46% over the last 12 months, and we have the S&P 500 up only 25% over the same period, right? So if you've been following along for the entire time we've been recording these videos, it's been doing pretty well. So what is next for the space? That's really all that matters. So this is the upper scenario for uranium supply and demand from the World Nuclear Association, right? And so in white, we see the demand for uranium, and then the bars, we show the supply. And what's interesting about this chart is that we can see prospective mines starting in a few years, nowhere near enough to fill the gap, right? And every single week, we talk about how massive the demand for uranium is going to be. And that white line just continues higher than anyone expects, right? So how are there so few prospective mines out there? That is the long-term picture for this space. No one can even think of where the uranium is going to come from. Even these experts can't understand where it's going to come from. So clearly there's just a massive shortage in this fuel. Now, that only matters if there's massive demand. Is there massive demand? Yes, because every single week, again, that white line budges higher from headlines like this. Department of Energy announces $900 million to accelerate the deployment of next generation light water small modular reactors. They are investing billions of dollars into nuclear energy. And this is a brand new technology, small modular reactors. So again, that's going to accelerate the demand for it. There's a reason the U.S. government is pouring billions into this space. Congress just passed the biggest clean energy bill since Biden's climate law. The bill slashes the fees. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission charges developers, speeds up the process for licensing new reactors, and hiring key staff. Republicans and Democrats recognize the development of new nuclear technologies critical to America's energy security and our environment. So this upper scenario didn't factor in these new developments, which proves that the U.S. government is doing everything it can to make nuclear energy as big as possible, and therefore the demand for uranium as high as possible. Remember, have to go back to this. Prospective mines in white trailing off. There are no mines out there that any of the experts are aware of that could fill the gap and meet the demand for all this uranium. U.S. targets 200 gigawatts nuclear expansion to meet soaring energy demand. So they want to triple nuclear capacity by 2050, adding 200 gigawatts to meet net zero emissions goals. Currently, nuclear power provides 20% of our nation's electricity. They want to triple that right? It really doesn't get bigger than this when you understand the magnitude of what is going on in the nuclear energy space. Bill Gates says support for nuclear power is very impressive in both parties amid new plant in Wyoming. Bill Gates says he's ready to put billions into nuclear power. The big tech titans fully understand how it's the only solution for artificial intelligence. A nuclear renaissance is coming. Potential investment of over $1.5 trillion through 2050 could spur opportunities across the nuclear value chain, right? So Morgan Stanley, everyone's to the smart money fully understands what is going on at this point. Nuclear industry sets expectations of next European commission. Leaders from across the European Nuclear Commission have published a manifesto outlining their priorities. For the new European commission, nuclear energy plays a crucial role in providing the EU with secure and affordable energy, right? A crucial role in the United States, a crucial role in the European Union. Macron of France announces construction of eight new massive nuclear reactors. And it's happening all over the world. Norway, nuclear company submits proposal for SMR station in north of country, right? We haven't even seen these SMRs yet, but countries are investing heavily in them, right? Wait till they start to get deployed. Wait till they have to start buying uranium for all these SMRs. 